hello guys welcome to my channel it's Christine E again and today in this video I'll be talking about breast cancer now this has become a prevalent disease especially among women and this video is going to be in series in about four series in the first video I'll be talking about signs and symptoms of breast cancer that is red flags that shows that you're having breast cancer or you stand a risk of getting breast cancer in the second video I'll be talking about people who stand a risk of getting breast cancer the third video I will give you tips on how to examine yourself or ways you can help to detect breast cancer and in the last video I'll be talking about ways to avoid getting breast cancer or things you need to do so that you don't stand the risk of getting breast cancer before I continue a big welcome to all my viewers and subscribers and if you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time you are also welcome do well to like and subscribe and also let's share this video because we really need to create an awareness so that we can put an end and a stop to this prevailing disease so without wasting much time let's go to our topic for today in this video I'll be talking about the signs and symptoms of breast cancer or the red flags that shows that you stand the risk of getting breast cancer or being diagnosed of breast cancer first and foremost what is breast cancer breast cancer occurs when healthy cells become abnormal or grow out of control forming tumors which spread to other parts of the body research and statistics has shown that one out of eight women stand the risk of getting breast cancer while in men it's about one to a thousand so we can see that everyone both male and female stand the risk of getting breast cancer so watch this video till the end so that you'll be able to know the signs and system whether you're male or female that shows that you have breast cancer or you stand a risk of getting breast cancer the signs and symptoms i'll be explaining here can only become worrisome if you notice them when you are not menstruating lactating or breastfeeding for women and I'll be giving you about 10 signs and symptoms that shows that you stand the risk of getting breast cancer or a pointer to the fact that you are getting breast cancer. Now the first sign we'll be looking at is a lump or thickened tissue or swelling on the breast or armpit on either of the breast or both breast or armpit or breast area or breast region. Usually this lump is movable when you feel it. Change in the size or shape of the breast. Now everyone should be able to know how their body looks or how your breast looks. Now when you notice a change in the size or shape of your breast from the normal that you used to see, please visit your healthcare provider or a hospital for further diagnosis. Thirdly, fluid discharge from the breast, which could have a foul odor, reddish in color, yellowish in color, other than breast milk. It is a warning sign. When you notice any discharge, when you are not breastfeeding, which could look like any of the ones I've mentioned, please run to the hospital. The fourth sign is puckering, dimpling, rash or redness on the skin around the breast tissue just like that of an orange. The fifth sign is a scaling or eczema or a cross or scab that it seems as if you can peel it or around the nipple region, something that maybe you scrape off. If you notice this on the nipple or around the areolar region, the sixth sign is hot, swollen, reddish breasts. If your breast is hot, swollen and reddish. The seventh sign is change in the shape of the nipple the nipple itself changes shape maybe it goes inward or tries folds inward that is a sign of breast cancer eight is growing of an enlarged vein on the breast accompanied with redness or swollen breast the ninth is sores on the skin of the breast you find sores or wounds on the breast skin the last and tenth sign is itching of the breast. You find your breast itching. And this sign could be in either or both breasts or around the breast area, the armpit as well. All of the signs are common in both men and women. So if you're a male or female and you find yourself experiencing any of those signs I've just mentioned or symptoms, please visit your healthcare provider for further diagnosis, for further tests. There are so many other tests that can be carried out. Watch out for more videos on breast cancer. 
See you in my next video. Bye.